or I consider this quite a big news story because I think this is one of the most entertaining, impressive, potentially has a lot of star power as well, if promoted properly. Subra Mateus has signed a co-promotional deal with Eddie Hearn and Matchroom alongside Fresh Productions to fight on the zone moving forward. Now we were hearing rumors that he was gonna fight Liam Parrow on the zone sometime in around the month of April. Well, he's with the zone now, he signed with Matchroom and obviously it's a co-promotional deal, but Eddie Hearn has now got Subram Matthias on his books. I think this is, for Eddie Hearn, it's a fantastic signing because as many of you will know, I've been very high on Subram Matthias. I think he is, you would have to, I would have to say with him, Inoue, Canelo, certainly when we were talking about a prime wilder, these were some of my favorite fighters to watch. Subra Mateus might very well be my favorite fighter to watch because this guy, it's, it's almost inconceivable for him to have a boring and dull fight. This guy is all action. He's all action. He throws nothing but hard shots. And it's crazy to think that he throws hard shots, but they're also arm punch. It shows the power he has. Subra Mateus, for me, is just blockbuster. He Every single time he's in the ring. And this is a guy who he's doing things the hard way if you think about it because he had to get himself into a position to be mandatory he ultimately got a crack at a vacant title because obviously josh taylor vacated all his belts apart from the wbo so he ended up fighting jeremiah's ponce who i believe was unbeaten going into that fight obviously the guy who beat lewis ritson uh, i think that was eddie hearn's last show with sky stopped him in five rounds in a great fight about a year ago if you haven't seen that fight go and watch it and he defended, I can't remember the guy's name he defended his title against last time. I think that was on the undercard of Andrade versus Benavidez. But that guy was unbeaten and he was his mandatory. And he's making all these guys quit. I think out of his last five opponents, four of them have been unbeaten. And this guy, he's not just beating them. I mean, he is beating these guys into obliteration to the point where they are saying just, you know, they used to call Lomachenko Nomaschenko back in the day. This is legit. This guy is that guy. You know, these are just, like, no more. You know, the doctors are coming in, taking one look at the guy's face and being like, the hell, you can't, f you're not fighting on. The Subra Mateus is absolute blockbuster. And against Liam Paro, I think that fight's going to be entertaining as hell if it does happen. And I'd be making, again, Mateus' favourite. Eddie Hearn needs to do a good job with Subra Mateus. I think he will, but he needs to do a very good job because potentially he's got a star on his hands there. I know Matthias, his English is not, I don't even think he actually speaks it. I don't think I've seen him give an English interview. But I think that adds to it, if you think about it, because he is a guy who is just, he doesn't need to speak the English language. He just knows, I'm going in there regardless what language you speak, to take your head clean off or to beat you into annihilation. And it's almost like he has, that. it's almost like he's an enigma in that way. And yeah, if done right, because he's got a big, fan base in his native puerto rico i believe he's from i think that eddie hearn has to try hard with this guy and in the 140 pound division he has the likes of liam paro i know jack catron is going to be fighting well apparently going to be fighting josh taylor in leeds of all places bit of a random place to do that fight but it's a fight that is well past its sell by date so yeah do it in leeds but it's yeah i could i mean i'll watch it but yeah, I guess. But if he did put him in there against either of those two, to be frank, I mean, at this stage now, I pick him over uh, Josh Taylor. Definitely pick him over Jack Cattrall. Haney is the obvious fight there because obviously Haney apparently is going to be fighting Ryan Garcia. I'd be, I'd be favoring Devin Haney, but you never know. Haney versus Mateus. I mean, that is, if you want to look up Bull Matador, that is, that's literally it because Devin Haney is the long-range boxer. He's slick good defense he can move and Mateus is seek and destroy hit you wherever I can hit you because I'm just gonna hurt you that would be that'd be fun that'd be a fun watch and if Haney's not allowed to hold could get very interesting that's what I will say about that fight if Haney can't hold that, that that's gonna be fun that is gonna be fun so Mateus signs with Eddie Hearn Obviously, as well with Fresh Productions. I haven't actually heard of Fresh Productions now, I have to say. I don't know, was he, is it kind of like um, a bit different but similar? 
with Hergovich when he was with Eddie Hearn. He was working with Hearn and Sauerl, and I think Joe Parker was kind of co-promoted as well. I think he's been co-promoted a few times in his career. But is it kind of similar to that? Because I've, I've genuinely never heard of these guys, fresh promotions. Never heard of them. But let's see. Let's see. Subram Mateus on the zone. Looking forward to seeing that. I think that's a great move. And, yeah, I, I, honestly, Mateus, with the American promoters, the, the Golden Boys, I know he's obviously with PBC, God knows what's going on there, but with the Bob Arams of the world, I think they missed the trick not rushing in to sign this guy. I really, really do. Because I think at 140, he is a... I've said it once, I'll say it again. This guy is dangerous. This guy is a bad man. A flipping very bad man. That's Subram Mateus. Well, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I'll leave it there, people. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Mateus joins Matchroom and the Zone. Let me know. I'll talk to you. Peace.